Application of Equivalent Fractions. I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss how do we compare fractions with unequal denominators. When we say compare that means we are looking for two fractions and we need to figure out which out which we have to figure out which one is greater than which one is equal to or less than right so these are the signs which we need to put in the right place so we need to compare 4 over 5 and 11 over 15 so that is one of your questions right let me call this as question a and then b is we need to compare 3 over 7 with 9 over 21 and c is 2 over 3 and 3 over 4 you can pause the video write down equivalent fractions and then compare once you have compared put in these symbols greater than equal to or less than and then check with my solution okay so first step to compare fraction is to see the denominator if the denominator is not same you have to make it same and the process by which we make them same is called as writing them as equivalent fractions with same denominator right so the first example here is 4 over 5 and 11 over 15 are two fractions to be compared what denominator can you have as same 5 times 3 is 15 so I can multiply both by 3 so we could write 4 over 5 uh, times 3 over 3 do you see that and then we can check uh, whether it is greater than equal to or less than 11 over 15 so when you multiply 4 by 3 what do you get 4 times 3 is 12 denominator as expected is 15 the other fraction is 11 over 15 since denominators are seen we know 12 parts from 15 is more than 11 parts from 15 therefore the sign should be greater than and that means 4 over 5 is greater than 11 over 15 do you get an idea so we figured out a method of making same denominator that is we wrote the fractions with equivalent fractions having same denominator and then we compare right so let's do the same exercise once again and this time the fractions are 3 over 7 and 9 over 21 now how will you write 7 as 21 well 3 over 7 we could write this as 21 since 3 times 7 is 21 correct is that okay yes so what we will do here is we'll multiply both numerator and denominator by 3 so when you multiply both by 3 then what we get is an equivalent fraction and 3 times 3 is 9 3 times 7 is 21 the other fraction is 9 over 21 they are exactly same right so equal to is how they compare they are exactly same fractions right so 3 over 7 is equal to 9 over 21 the last example is for you to do try to do it and then check with my solution so this time we have 2 over 3 and 3 over 4 so what is the denominator which we can have as common multiples of 3 are 3 6 9 12 multiples of 4 are 4 8 12 12 is the common denominator right so so we know that we if we make both denominators as 12 we can have same denominators right how do we make them 12 that is our step so we'll write the numbers 2 over 3 and 3 over 4 making them 12 is if I multiply these numbers by 3 right do you see that both numerator and denominator I make them 12 and these numbers I have to multiply by 4 that is the trick sometimes we call this cross multiplication also right cross multiplication is a very good trick to write equivalent fractions for comparing so let's do that 4 times 2 is 8 and 4 times 3 is 12 right now we have 3 times 3 is 9 
3 times 4 as 12. Clearly, 9 is greater than 8 and therefore we can write 3 by 4 is greater than 2 over 3 or 2 over 3 is less than 3 over 4. That sign comes. Do you see that? That is how you can compare fractions. Now, there are three questions for you to practice. Let me write down a few numbers here. 4 over 7 and let us say 5 over 8. You need to figure out which one is greater, right? Which one is smaller? They're definitely not the same, right? Then we have here 2 over, let's say, 5 and, and we have something over 15, right? So purposely, I'm writing a number which is kind of 7, okay? So check which one is greater in this case. Let, now let's have examples like 3 over, let's say, again, 4 and then let this number be something over let's say 12 and let me write 9 here 9 over 12 so try to do these three examples follow the strategies uh, which we have learned so let me write we already have c so let me call this as d and then this as e and this as f okay so try to do these questions on your own to compare means you need to use these symbols that is greater than, this is equal to, that one is less than. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.